Hi all, this is uh, a camping box that I built uh, a long time ago that I have a video out there for and I've made some changes to it and I've used it for a few years and so I thought I would do a part two kind of a discussion on some changes that I've made um, from the original box design and just kind of let you know some changes that I've I've had in it in terms of the way I use it. So this is uh, my canoe box. As I've said, I've used it for a few years now. I've used it quite a few times. Um, I've made some changes uh, that I'll go over. Um, first, first is I, I changed out the straps. So when I originally built it, I had some bungee cords on the top, and while those worked okay, I wasn't really that pleased with the security of them. You know, of course, bungee cords they they ex contract and expand and all that, and so. I wanted something a little more rigid, uh, a little tighter, so I made these straps um, that, that hold it down that I, I like a little bit more. I also, when I'm using it, I'll often spread these out a little bit more and put a map case right here so that I can, see, you know, of the river that I'm on so that I can kind of see where I'm at and maybe put the GPS, if I have one, with me um, up here too. And so this kind of forms the table. Uh, it sits right in front of me in the canoe right behind the yoke and um, uh, it serves as a nice flat surface to, to do stuff on while I'm in the canoe. Um, I've been fortunate in that I have not dumped the canoe while this has been in it. Um, I think it would do okay but I can't say that I know exactly because I've never never dropped it over. When I originally made it and um, and, and, and talked about it, you know, I hadn't used it much, and so you can see the the dovetails on the sides have gotten, you know, the paint is cracked off, it's gotten dirty, it's scratched up, all that kind of stuff from use. Um, but it's holding up pretty well. As I said in the re previous video from a year, a few years ago, the, the um, uh, medium density overlay is what the main carcass is made of. Now the top, um, it had gotten more and more because there's an insert on the inside perimeter of the of the top and there there was a seam right on the outside and it was getting pretty worn and crap and you know and water could get in it a little bit not like soak into the box but just it wasn't good for it so I decided it needed to be more waterproof so what I wound up doing was I fiberglass the whole top of it I haven't done the sides if I continue to have problem with those like if they get worse and worse or whatever then then I may wind up doing that as well, but for now I just fiberglass the top. So the top's got fiberglass all over it and down the sides. And then the corners are reinforced with a little bit more fiberglass mat. Um, that took a little bit of doing. I hadn't messed with fiberglass before, and so, uh, but it was kind of fun to, to learn how to do that. You can see that some of the corners where I've painted it have kind of worn through. Um, you know, I could, I could give it another coat of paint if I wanted to. And maybe someday I'll do that. You do if it gets too bad, you do need to do that because the fiberglass epoxy doesn't do well with direct sunlight. After a while, it'll break down. So um, if you do mess with that, you might want to keep that in mind. I probably should give it another coat of paint, but it's working pretty well. So I also made some changes on the inside um, that I'll show you. Um, well, first of all, the inside of the box lid, I. Uh, I put these threaded inserts in and I epoxied those in um, and those I put legs in. So right here I have legs that I can I can take out and um, thread into here and then that forms a nice little table with a, if I have a chair especially that I can sit beside me. So I'll have a chair here then I'll have the box and then I'll have the table to my side so I can use that to, as a prep area, especially if I have a camp stove on my left, I can have the table on my right and so forth. So that works pretty well. The reason it's got five is I thought in some situations if I'm on a steep hill, I might want to put uh, two on this side and just one on this side to form a tripod. But usually it's flat enough I can get away with just putting one in each corner. That makes it more stable and, and that's what I do. So, you know, these are pretty straightforward. You just, you know, thread these in and you do it on all four corners and then, you know, there you go. There's not a whole lot to that. Um, but it is, it is a nice addition. It has made it 
much more useful because what I wound up doing when I didn't have that is I would just set this on the ground and use it as a table but then I'd have to reach way down to, to pick stuff up off of it and so forth so um, it was just a little bit nicer with with the uh, with the legs on it um, the inside hasn't changed but I use it a little differently than I I did originally so I've got my stuff organized here a little bit differently I have these um, Nalgene containers for whatever sugar, coffee, salt, pepper, cooking oil, whatever. Um, I like those. They stay nice and, you know, they're very waterproof and they're just good little containers. Um, this stuff hasn't changed much. I added a paring knife to my list of stuff because that comes up pretty handy, especially if you've brought um, vegetables and stuff that you're working on. Um, this has changed a little bit, but not, not that much. Um, I have this little pot in here that I use to, you know, if I'm making sauces or whatever. Um, for me, camping on the river, you know, cooking is a big part of that as far as fun, so I tend to focus on that. Um, this changed a little bit. I've added some some plates and stuff that, that I can clean up and, and compact, or compact, and that's nice. And then one other change I made was, let's see, oh, I have, I keep this with me now, it's just a bag of uh, Bisquick so I can make biscuits and pancakes and things like that. And then inside this is a Sawyer uh, 4 liter uh, water filter. And especially on the river, that thing is great. I don't know that I want to take it backpacking, but on the river it's fantastic. You can, you know, fill that thing up and have 4 liters of water and you can, you can put the 4 liters of of river water in it and then walk away and come back later and you've got four liters of clean water. I used, I didn't use this whole setup, but I used that filter in the Boundary Waters in Minnesota and for a party of four, we were out for a week and it was, it was fantastic. I mean, it just made water filtration so much easier than having to go pump it, which is what I had been doing. Um, I can't recommend those enough. And uh, really nothing, I guess everything else is about the same as it was before, so. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to let you guys know of uh, some of those changes that I've that I made. Um, makes the usability a little bit better. And um, if I was gonna if I was gonna build another one, I would definitely keep some of that functionality in mind. Even if you don't build it like this, just uh, some of that capability as far as having a little table uh, that you can work off of, and and um, some of those other changes are are may be good to know. So. Um, well, that's it. Thanks. Uh, comment or whatever if you have any questions.